What is going on guys? This is X out of here back again with another mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the W900 uh, dump truck by, I believe his name is Cam only. I believe that's who the actual mod is made by, but like the parts and all that. Uh, there's a bunch of people, but the two main ones that I can remember are, are Ivan and Viper. Now I will leave, you know, everyone that did take part and credit with this truck and, you know, the creator of it all in the description below. Also, the, they also what comes with this mod is a it's called a pup dump trailer. It's a small little trailer uh, that runs with this truck. So clearly, you can't have anything else with this truck. But there is an attachment, as you can see on the back right there, that does hook up to it. So you are able to pull that around. The actual truck itself comes with a load already in there, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, they also recommend that you use a 500 plus horsepower uh, engine and 18 speed transmission just because of the load that's already in the standard truck plus whatever you haul behind. So you're going to need the power and all that. Um, I do have another mod in. Uh, they, they do say that it will conflict with other, other W900 mods that you have in. Uh, well, it, it could. And they also said that there are W900 accessories work with it. I tried that and it didn't work. Uh, but I do have another mod in, which is Busted's uh, Tri Drive. So I have his Tri Drive in here, his latest version. So, and it actually really doesn't do too much conflicting with this truck at all. It actually adds more, I guess you would say, pizzazz to the truck. Uh, it makes it look a little different. So, you know, the main things I will say real quick before we get into the customizing that it does uh, add is, it, it does add engines from here, you know, from Busted's, it does add like the twin turbos and all that. There is some of them that don't work at the moment, and that's been an issue way before uh, on Busted's side that he still has to fix. Um, another thing that adds different transmissions with different gear ratios you could add to the rear wheels, such as like a 411, you know, for for torque and all that or you know like a 338 I believe is it is uh, for speed so you could choose that and it will work um, another thing is the visors uh, it does bring over busted visors uh, so his two visors the 7 inch drop visor with the lights and then the 12 inch drop visor with the lights do work with this mod and then it does add another bug deflector that busted had made uh, also adds some of his bumpers as well, but a lot of them don't work, and you'll see there won't be a bumper there whenever we get into that. Um, it does add two of his air cleaners, so air filters uh, that aren't with the truck, uh, that aren't with this mod, that are with his mod. Uh, it does add mirrors that are with his mod, instead of the two standard mirrors that come with this mod. So it does add those, which is a nice touch, and it does add his exhausts that he has on his truck over to this one instead of the two standard exhausts that you, you know would come with the with the truck now this is they are both based uh the scs based w900 so i guess that's another reason why they really don't conflict because they're not both custom they're both based off the scs w900 so they kind of don't conflict too much but i'm doing this mod review with both of them and just to show you that you can do it I will leave a list in the description below uh, of everything with the mod just by itself without his tri drive in there so you guys understand you know the differences between the two in case you just want to run this mod by itself or unless you you know in case you want to have them both together so well, enough of me talking we're going to get into the you know configuration of this so there's only really one cab it does say studio sleeper and aero cab sleeper but if you click on it it just changes it so there's really no point so you just leave it on the day cab as is just like that over to chassis now i will warn you do not click on any of these these are all from busted's tri drive as you can see they say tri drive so don't click on them it will crash your game the only two that you need to worry about are the six by four short well they're both the same gallon um without busted's in here it's the 120 gallon uh, and the 150 gallon 6x4 short. So those are the only two chassis you could choose. Even without, you know, busted in there. It does have two other options, but it's it's for these two 
sleepers uh, cabs down here. So you just leave it on the day cab and you either choose, I don't have it on here, but either choose the 120 gallon or the 150 gallon uh, chassis. So just leave it on that and don't mess with anything because it will crash the game if you choose something else. So moving over to the engines, the uh, engines that come with it, the actual mod itself are the Cummins ISX-12, not the Cat C-15 straight pipe, that is a mod off of the Steam Workshop which you can add in and it does work with this truck. The Packard MX-13, the Cummins ISX-15 500 horsepower, the Cummins ISX-15 600 horsepower, and the Caterpillar C-15 625. All those besides what you, uh, the C-15 straight pipe, all the other ones that you see on here are the ones that come with the mod itself, and that's it. Now, since I have busted in here, it does add his, uh, his engines down here, like the twin turbos. I know the 3406B twin turbo and just the normal B one, I know they don't work. There's no sound for them. Uh, I also tested out ones down here such as the Cummins N14 open modified uh, or this modified one up here, the 890 horsepower. I did test that and they do work. Um, there is a Caterpillar C15 that works and I believe there's a C15 twin turbo if I can find it right here and it does work so they work but the 3406 does not but what I'm going to choose I'm going to choose the cat C15 straight pipe that's uh, the mod off of Steam Workshop if you do have the Cummins ISX straight pipe you will have to disable that uh, and just have this straight pipe one in there as they are by the same person it does say you have to have higher priority if you have them both in there I mean whichever is your highest priority one out of the two would work but I just have that one in there so moving over to the transmissions as I said before um, you will see you know that those are 2.85 final at 308 you know with the 13 speeds uh, those are all from busted so those aren't what come with the actual truck mod itself like I said I will leave everything in the description below what actually just comes with the mod itself so but you do have your eaten four 10 speeds 13 speeds uh, then you have your 13 speeds with the different gear ratios all the way up from or from a 285 all the way up to a 456 eaten four 10 speed eaten four 18 speed then you have your 18 speeds from a 285 all the way up to a 456 your Allison six speed then your 13 speed with retarder, 18 speed with retarder, and your Allison 6 speed with retarder. Now, I know that this truck does have a load in the back, as you, as I already said before. And plus, whatever truck or whatever trailer, um, the pup trailer that you haul with it, whatever it may be inside of it, uh, is going to be quite heavy. So, you know, you want to pick something with a a higher ratio to have the torque. Uh, you won't go as fast, but it will help you with getting up hills and all that. So I'm going to go with a 411 uh, 18 speed final for this uh, for the setup. Moving over to the interior. Now there's only two interiors that actually come with the mod itself, and that's the modern interior and the classic interior. Those are the only two. But since we do have busteds in here, you have the chrome interior and a custom paint interior, which whatever you decide to paint the outside of your truck will be the inside interior color so but I'm gonna go with chrome uh, I think it looks nice so I'm gonna choose that over to paint um, we screw up a little bit you do have lapis blue lily white satin gray wine red creamy orange crimson red graphite black custom color which you can choose any color you desire that fits your needs then you have metallic black, metallic blue, metallic cyan, which it really doesn't look like it may, the uh, metallic in it, I can't really tell from these colors. And then you have triple black, and then we have the custom metallic, which we will check out just to make sure that it all works. So you can see that there, and you can see that that works as well, just like that. And then the white on there, you can see the sparkles down here on the fender. So it does all work, which is nice. Uh, then you have the divided. 
Uh, then you have the stripe, rainbows, vintage red, hot flames, sunset, rattlesnake, cowboy life, independent, and Uncle Sam. And uh, I have tested it out already. You can change all the colors on them. Uh, just for time's sake, I'm, I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, just, I know I normally do, but for time's sake, I'm not going to. Now, if we scroll up past the colors, past here, you'll see all these. Now, if you do have the mod off the Steam Workshop that adds all the, what would you say, the companies in the actual game, the standard companies in the game, uh, for the, you know, the standard SCS, since this is based off of that model, they do work with this truck so we'll click go through those real quick so if you do decide that you want to choose you know one of the company uh, paint schemes you can do so which you know having a gas one on here really doesn't make any sense but having like a machinery one or the uh, coastal mining one would probably fit the best on here so you can see them all here that one actually looks really nice with the you know the crops and all that which actually sits really nice on there uh, but like I said if you want to do like coastal mining you know that would make more sense since it says a mining truck pretty much it's a dump truck so I mean you could keep it on that which isn't too bad uh, but I'm gonna go with just a custom metallic color I think I'm gonna go we'll go with uh, we'll go with red so we use that there we go. We'll go with that kind of red for this truck. Now over to accessories. Like I said before, you will see different stuff, uh, which is from Busted's, and then some other mod that I have in that adds like horns uh, in the beacons, uh, different bug deflector, and a couple of different bumpers that you could add slots to say wide load, which really doesn't fit this combination of truck, but it's there. So, I mean, you could do whatever you please. But we'll start up here at the top. You click on horns. Now, you do have the horn adapter, which you can choose to have uh, the horns, you know, the different style horns. Or, you know, you could put lights on there, which doesn't really make any sense. Then you have horns and beacons, which adds beacons on the side, which is nice. And they do work. And they fit nice, you know, nicely with the, or pretty nicely with the, cab I think it, it's meant for the SCS 389 but they work on here and you can put them on and you can see that they work so I know dump trucks in real life do have you know beacons on them so and this truck is based off a dump truck and pup trailer combination out of Ontario Canada uh, that's what they say normally you really wouldn't see something like this around in the US but they have gone and modeled it off of a truck out of Ontario Canada so moving on you have your light adapter your cab light adapter so you could have the five roof sleepers which doesn't really fit uh, then you have the nine one which isn't there then you have the LED beacons which don't really fit with it and then you have beacon markers which don't work because they're from busted and they kinda that that's this is where it would conflict a little bit uh, but you could just put the normal light adapter on there and then just add you know whatever lights you want now for some reason you know these are here and then this is all for like all these are for busted uh, try drive and then the rest of it's all down here so if you do have his in there you will have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find all the lights uh, that you want to add on here so I'll add these on here real quick and this video may be just a little on the longer side I'm trying to get through this pretty quickly though uh, then you have your standard sun shield on down to the sun visors uh, and then the blind mount those are the two that come with the mod itself now busted has the 7 inch with the lights and then has the 12 inch one with the lights and I'm gonna go with that one and add the flat marker lights on there like so and there we go all right, moving over to the mirrors. Now, there's only two mirrors that really come with it, and it's the mirrors duty, and I believe the mirrors double are the only two that actually come with the mod. Everything else in between that you see is all from the other mod. So you have your mirror uh, with custom lights, and if you scroll to the right, 
you can see slots where you could add in your own custom lights. Uh, you have a double one with custom lights. You could add another light there. Then you have a uh, double with lollipop lights on the bottom, which are on the bottom inside. As you can see there, and I su did suggest him uh, for this. Someone suggested to put the lollipop lights in there, and I suggested two uh, busted to make them into turn signals because I know they are actual turn signals, um, and they they do go on the bumper at the bottom too, and they are turn signals, which is a nice feature. Uh, so I did suggest that to him when he did put them in there, and they do work with this dump truck mod. Uh, but moving on, we still have the, the double lollipop, so you have the double ones with the extended on the bottom there, as you can see, and you can still add lights on there if you'd like. Then you have the double lollipop on the top, uh, and you have the lollipop just on the bottom with the single, and then the lollipop lights on the top with the single, and then back in your mirrors, double. Um, I'm probably going to go with these ones on the bottom like that and we'll just add in a couple marker lights momentarily uh... let's see here we go Our marker lights so we'll add those on there try to do this relatively fast if i knew how to edit my videos i would uh... i would just edit this part out but i don't know how to do that so unfortunately we can't skip that now at the end i do want to try to find a trailer for this you know the hookup to that's nearby so like I said, this video may be a little lengthy, uh, or I may just stop it, you know, just test it how I normally do. And if you guys want to see it with the trailer, you know, let me know in the comments below of this video if you do want to see that. And I will make a video with the combination of the trailer and, you know, give my thoughts on the trailer and all that and what, you know, might could be added or whatever. So, uh, you know, please, you know, don't hesitate to... To comment below and add, you know say that yes we'd like to see this or no or whatever it doesn't matter to me if you guys do want to see it let me know I would definitely do that for you uh, just so this video is not super long uh, moving on to the air cleaners uh, so you have four different air cleaners although it only comes with the basic and the air filters with the light bars on there as you can see uh, and then we have air filter uh, with front lights and the rear lights which is uh, from Busted, and then you have the custom front with the ones on the back that are already there. I'm going to go ahead real quick and add my own custom air cleaner lights on here because the ones that come with it are kind of bland. Uh, I mean, they work, but I like the custom air cleaner lights. I think they look a lot nicer. So I'm just going to choose these real quick. And then we'll move on with this. Like so. Okay. Moving up here to the bug deflector. Uh, so this metal deflector custom grill is uh, from Busted. So that, it is his, that is his. So that is custom. And then you have a metal deflector. And you can see the difference there in the two. That this one is all smooth. And then this one has the rivets with the hole behind the, uh, the Kenworth logo. Then this uh, deflector American Legend one, this is from a mod pack that adds different bumpers with the slots, a different bike deflector, and the horns with the beacons on top. So we'll pick the, we'll, we'll do it with this one. It says American Legend across it, which is really nice. So it's just like this one, except it's, it just says American Legend on it, which is quite nice. So we'll go with that one. Uh, there's no option to change the grill, unfortunately, so... You have to stick with the standard grill that you have. Uh, fender guards, if you do have the oversized load placard, I mean, you could add it, but there's no sense because it's not an oversized load truck. So uh, you could add the, the, you know, the fender guards on there as so, which I am going to. Now on down to the bumpers. Like I said, the bumpers that you see, such as these ones, are not standard with this mod. And they don't work. So... But the bumper standard does, but all these ones from here down to the modern, so in between the modern and the standard do not work, and I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, they don't work. So that's another, you know, that's a conflict, a conflict that is with the two mods together, why they say that they recommend you just using this by itself, but you can have them together if you want. And I'm showing you that now, I don't want to make two separate videos, and I decided to make it all in one. 
to show you guys that you are able to do this. So pretty much like the standard bumper of each of these ones, such as the bumper modern would work. The one with the upper lights does not. You know, bumper shield, this one does not. Here's a bumper plane with slots. Like I said, you could add you know, oversize on there like that, which really doesn't make any sense because it's not oversized. Uh, then you have the butterfly, Oh, I'm sorry, the Firefly, the bumper Firefly. I don't know why I said Butterfly, I didn't mean to say that. But you have the Firefly, then you have the Firefly with the upper ones, which doesn't work. Then you have the Quarterback, Quarterback with slots. And once again, you could add, you know, the oversized load or whatever. And then you have the Quarterback with the lights. Now, this is the only one that I know that you could add these light slots on the side, uh, or they have them on the side, where you could add these pedestrian marker lights on here. Uh, if you do so to choose this, I will, like I said before, these do, are, they are turn signals. They're not just marker lights, they are turn signals, and same with the lollipop ones up here. Uh, that was my suggestion to Busted, you know, to do that, because I've seen it in person, and I thought it was really cool. So, they are turn signals, so if you do decide to go with the full quarterback bull bar, with the lights on here, you could add those pedestrian lights on the bottom, and they're not just marker lights. They actually are turn signals, so you will see that on here. Uh, I'm not going to leave this on. I'll leave it on just to show you guys, and we'll come back in and we'll change the bumper. So moving on to the side, change the front tire. Uh, since this is a dump truck, I usually see dump trucks with these big heavy tires on here. So we will pick that as I normally would anyway. Usually, um, I got to start changing that up a bit. Uh, so moving on to the back to the exhaust. Now the only exhaust that come with the mod, with the W900 uh, dump truck mod, is the standard exhaust and the plain stacks. Those are the only two. All the ones in between that you see, once again from Busteds, uh, and they all work. So you have, you know, you have your angled ones for the day cab, your big stacks, big stacks cut. So they stop right there at the top of the cab. We'll turn the lights off here. Then you have your big stacks day cab. And then you have the fat angle day cab stacks, and then you have fatter big stacks uh, for the day cab. So those are all the ones that you could choose from. I'm going to go with the, the fat angled ones, which is actually a really nice touch. So instead of having, you know, these dinky little exhausts, which isn't bad, you could if, you know, you wanted to. But since this is a custom truck, might as well have custom exhaust. Uh, I did pass up the front hood mount mirrors, so we'll take a look at those real quick. So you have your left hood mount mirror there, and then you have your other left hood mount mirror. Right, left hood mount mirror that goes on the fender, like so. And then you have your right side hood mirror, and then the right side hood mount mirror, which goes on the fenders. Uh, and as always, as you guys know, I do not like them, so I am going to take them off. Um, let's see. Moving on back, we'll change the the triaxle here and it all they all work all the wheels work the triaxle does work so which is nice um, I don't think there was a mod that I've done before not recorded but I've done before where it, it didn't work so we'll just change all these wheels out real quick try to move along here pretty quickly and there we go and then we'll do the last one Like so. There we go. And the lug nuts. All right, cool. So, oh, change the tire. All right, there we go. So, onto the back of the truck. There's nothing you could do with the mud flaps back here, even you know the plates or anything. So that's the standard how it is. Now this one right here, it does say mud flaps. Uh, and I do have the you know the mud flap pack in there, which adds all these different mud flaps. Now it doesn't really necessarily well it does change it back here. So standard mud flaps is up here, and as you can see, it does add a lip around the fender. Uh, some of the ones don't have one, uh, but for the most part, they mostly do. But if we go through here real quick, as you can see, it adds the mud flap back here behind this tire as well so you you know if you do have this pack in here you could choose all these and I'll go through them all real quickly as you guys can see logo Kenworth logo 
long nose Kenworth if you have a W900L you know, native Route 66 skull skull with star SW Trooper Star Wars victory sign uh, then you have your white standard mud flaps now these are the ones that don't show up back here uh, then you have your SCS mud flaps chrome mud flaps which as you can see aren't there which takes off everything now the chrome mud flaps and the no mud flaps are, are exactly the same so I'm just gonna point that out uh, but the second chrome mud flaps actually does work so it adds you know the chrome mud flap down there with the with the lip and then you have the chrome mud flaps with the lights which adds the other chrome mud flaps back here which you could add you know like marker lights on here so let's go down and put like round marker lights on here now if you choose I'm going to just because uh, just because I feel like it so there you go uh, so I believe that's everything with the outside of the truck there's no side mount mirror uh, unfortunately a few people do like that uh, it is helpful in real life and I guess in the game as well but there's no option to do that so once again if you do want to have this option to have this mud flap back here don't forget that you have to choose either the chrome mud flaps or if you have any of the mud flaps that are you know the mod mud flap pack then they will add the mud flaps back here but other than that it'll just add the one up on the front fender right there all right uh so going on to the interior accessories uh we can change the steering wheel this is the modern kenworth modern steering wheel and then you do have the kenworth classic steering wheel which you could choose from if you do not have the creations pack so if you do have the creations pack you already know the drill by now that you could choose whatever steering wheel that you so desire uh, i'm probably just going to go uh, we'll go with this one we'll go with the pinion truck like that I'll just make sure everything is all right now you will notice if you're on the inside accessories it says grill these are all from busted every single one of these if you click on it so we'll click on this one you go to the outside doesn't change anything and just to prove that it doesn't change anything we'll pick on a different one and it doesn't change anything also so we'll just take that off so also up here you'll see it says hood and it has horse wings griffin and skull which does add if you could see past right there past the bug deflector it does add a hood ornament once again go back to the outside it is not there so that is a couple of the conflicts that it does have which is why you would normally just have this mod in by itself but i wanted to show it together just to show you guys you know that you, you are able to do it that it doesn't conflict with it too much to where it will crash the game uh, but where you could add different stuff into it you know just to spice up the truck the way that it looks and all that so that's why I left them both in here now when we confirm this and you know I will drive around the block um, and you know, you'll hear the sounds this is on my other uh, profile so the sound has turned up a wee little bit not too much but a little bit more than what I you know what you guys are normally used to so I would definitely be quiet uh, and not talk uh, until I come to the stoplight to turn around then I'll say you know I'll switch the external so you guys could hear that so this is the C15 straight piped engine in here um, so we will confirm this and I will try 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 if there is a dump trailer for this truck nearby if it is I will go hook up to it real quick and show you if not let me know in the description below if you guys want to see that and I would definitely make a you know a video on that so let's confirm this uh, we'll trade in our truck and we would go test this out right so here we are we'll go to the outside so we'll put up the tag wheel let everything around us load in we are in Reno, so hopefully it won't be too laggy here. Uh, we will go to the exterior, and we will see if there is anything uh, nearby. Just real quick. Uh, I hope that there is, but it doesn't look like there's not. No, so there's nothing nearby. So like I said, if you guys do want to see a... Uh, 
a video with the pup trailer. I do have it in, it's just not nearby. Uh, we'll see if we could actually find one on the job market just to show you what it does look like. Uh, let's see. Uh, construction, maybe. Yeah, because there goes a dump trailer there. Hmm. We may have to sleep. Yeah, looks like we'll have to sleep uh, just for it to be in the game. So we'll wait for next time. Uh, you know, please let me know if you do want to see that. If not, it's no big deal to me. But if you do want to see it, just let me know. Uh, so without further ado, we'll start this up as as always. We'll go down the road. Um, may go down that way first, and then turn around and come back. So we'll do the interior and exterior. Uh, we'll check out everything right now. So we'll start it up. So this is the Caterpillar uh, C15. So I'll put the lights on. As you can see there. See, this is why I like having his mod up here because you could add the the extra lights on the filters and the mirrors and the visor, which is a nice touch. And just to show you that the, you know, the beacons will still work, and then do the turn signals. So as you can see, the quarterback does have the turn signals on the actual bumper itself, and then as you can see, the sides are two points off that they do. All the turn so you can't see that. Turn off to the right side. So if you do want to have those on there, you will have to have this bumper. Uh, since you can't really change or add uh, those pedestrian turn signal lights on any of the bumper besides this one, um, I'm just going to go in and go change the bumper real quick. So we'll go do that before we drive around. Change the bumper to uh, we'll do the Firefly bumper like that. So we'll confirm that. Alright, put the tag wheel back up. Start it back up. So once again, you can see the turn signals on the on the pop, which is real nice. So we'll put the lights on. Well, uh, we'll drive around, so I'll be quiet so you guys can listen. So we will go down to the uh, next light underneath the bridge.
another nice thing, uh, it, it turns into the thing with the dump. I do like that a lot. It's a uh, really nice feature. And it, I am slowly starting out because I'm in uh, eighth, starting out. Typically with load, you do not start out in eighth gear. And I don't have a uh, steering wheel and a shifter to change gears for me, which is what I would like to do. So we automatically start out in eighth. So this is why it's a little slow. Alrighty guys, that's the uh, that this is the W900 dump truck by Cam only. I believe that's what his name is. Once again, I will leave his name in the description below. I believe he's the one that made the mod itself and the trailer mod for this. Uh, and I'll also leave all the people that took credit in making parts for this. Uh, Busted will also be in the credits below because I do have his mod activated as well. So also. I forgot to mention in the description below that I mentioned earlier that I will leave a list of all the stuff that comes with the mod just by itself. Uh, mainly the main stuff such as like the bumpers, the mirrors, the air cleaners, the visors, uh, the transmissions, and the engines. So I will leave all that. It will be a pretty decently long description so please read the description. Uh, don't come to me saying oh this didn't work and this didn't work. I do have both mods in there as you saw. That having both of them in there does conflict a little bit with like the bumpers, uh, so there is that. But I wanted to show you that you can have both of them in there since they are both based off of the SCS W900. So that is why you're able to have both of them in there uh, and have the different mirror options, have the different air cleaners, add custom lights on there, the different bumpers instead of just the ones that come with it, uh, which is nice. We'll put the lights back on there so you can see it, which is real nice. Uh, and the lollipops, they are turn signals, so they do work like turn signals. And if you do want to have the pedestrian lights on the bottom of the bumper, you will have to choose the quarterback with the lights and add those on the side there if you so please to have a bull bar on the dump truck. Uh, once again, if you do want me to make a video with this and the trailer, let me know in the description below. I will definitely find time to be able to you know, get them both together uh, in one point because there isn't any nearby so we can make a video on that uh, if you guys want me to if not it's no big deal uh, personally I would like to so uh, but I, I won't do it unless you guys you know see that do let me know in the comments below once again if you are new to the channel please subscribe for uh, more content uh, please give a like you know like I said comment if you have any questions or anything you want to you know, want to say or whatever, I will always reply back, unless it is kind of irrelevant or kind of goes, you know, if you say, well, this, you know, the bumpers don't work, well, you got to watch the video, don't just go right to the description below. Uh, mod link will be in the description below. So, uh, once again, this has been Xsatter here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.